little barbecuing. Got ourselves some Sichuan chilies and salted swai fish. We're just kind of experimenting with how to cook this, honestly. Gonna do a little bit of pan cooking on the grill here to get that heat from the fire on the bottom of this aluminum tray that we got. Get a little bit of that Sichuan chili oil and stuff to really get into that fish there. Hopefully, fish, the good thing about fish is that fish really holds flavor. Whatever you can put fish with is what it'll end up tasting like, which is why I guess the only reason I can eat fish because I'm not a fan of fish generally with the smell of it and stuff like that. But uh, what I've discovered is that with Indian spices and Asian spices in particular, you can just spice fish up however you want to. Once you've done that, it's just the taste of the chilies. It's just that, it's just the natural spicy good flavor. So that's what we're gonna try and do here. Um, and it is the first time that I'm really cooking fish on a grill like this, so we're gonna see what happens. Three chicken going over here. This has been sitting on a medium heat for probably like 20, 30 minutes at this point. Um, it's been marinating for about a day. We let this stuff really sink in there. When I marinated the chicken, basically, we also made sure to really get slits in the chicken so that you get all the flavor into the chicken while it's marinating. And then um, what I like to do is just put a little bit of oil on top of it as you're cooking. Not even a whole lot, just literally like a little drizzle on each piece as you go by. And that just allows that flavor to sort of, I think the oil acts as sort of an emulsifier and catalyst to getting that flavor to seal in there. And then I prefer the low heat because that way with tandoori chicken, you don't burn it. You get all that flavor to really seal in there before you start burning the outside of your chicken. But tandoori chicken, you gotta burn it a little bit. You do want it to have a little bit of that burn so you get a little bit of that crunch to it because that's really delicious. So let's see, um, we'll come back and check on this stuff in a little bit. We got a whole lot more food to cook as well. So this is just the beginning of it. You sit down. Yeah, it's just tearing apart like that, that's how you know. We are ready. We are ready. Original intention was, again, to uh, put this on the grill when it was done to get the grill marks on it. But with fish, fish often will just like get flaky and tear apart like it already is when it's done. So if you do that now, you're basically going to end up just flaking all your fish off onto the top of the grill. So we're not going to bother doing that right now. Like oh, we got curry. All right, so here we've got some curry fish with butter. And the whole point of the butter, again, is to, as we put it on the grill there, we're gonna make sure that the butter sort of uh, gets that curry powder mixed in with that fish again and starts to act as an emulsifier to get all, those, all that powder and stuff to really stick to uh, the fish in here. So let's go ahead and we'll get this bad boy started.
looking like it's going to be a little crispy even. Last fish. God dang. Shit. Sorry, man. That's <laughs> alright. It got real hot. So see, now we're at a spot where we've got our marinade right, we got our oil right, so it's just flipping. It's not sticking, everything's just like coming right off. Now we're, now we're getting there. Oh yeah, look at that color, boy. See the difference between my cooking and when you go to a restaurant as well as at the restaurant, you get all the color. This is all flavor. The color is the side effect to the flavor that's in there. <laughs> all right. We have... Oh yeah, we're going home. We're going down south here. So we got some Cajun Creole with some sesame, fennel. This is all over the place, man. This is India meets like Florida from New Orleans type of a deal here. So uh, this one, I think I'm gonna do the same. We're gonna put it in the in the grill there. And um, this one with a little bit of butter and it's got a little bit of uh, soy sauce in there as well. So it's gonna actually, I think, be able to cook a lot better than that curry one. Not necessarily better, it's just gonna cook without um, burning uh, like the curry did but first and foremost let's get our tools ready because you know can't do the job without the right tools as my mama used to say my mama still says that but she used to say it like Mitch Hedberg I used to do drugs I still do but I used to too <laughs> classic classic Mitch Hedberg We got this bad boy prepped. Cajun, Creole, sesame, soy sauce. Name it, it's in there. Anything you can think of. I'll tell you guys the recipe or you can go to my website, www.fuzzlesrecipesathome.com and you can find all of them. If you hit that website and it doesn't exist, it's because I never made it. I just wanted to say that. Now I gotta make a website, man. You make websites? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> My mother was a website. Nobody. Tell them, Max. Alright. Well, we got this bad boy cooking. Um, I think we'll go no cover on this for a moment. Chickens. And now just for fun, we're gonna. A little dab, a little flavor dab. Is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra. As heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound impossible to obtain in a hey. mono recording. We're cooking. We use the grill like. Every holiday, every Eve, every family get together, it was like my mom would marinate tandoori chicken and bihari kebabs, and I would be the one out on the grill for like two, three hours as the family's doing their thing. Everyone would come out one by one, like do the catch up at the grill, but I was always just like the dude on the grill making the tandoori chicken, making the bihari kebabs for hours, spending time out there, and it just became like we were known for it. Me and my mom, like that was the team. We always like grilled this shit together. And as I mentioned, I had it down to a science with that tandoori chicken, like boom, boom, boom. Pushing it out there like it was restaurant style. 
been a little bit, but it's all coming back and there's a little oil techniques and all that stuff. Little so secret back in the day stuff. Let's see what we got going over here. The raging Cajun. audible here and um, I had all this garnish but what I'm thinking is that if we throw a little spring onion into this cooking it'll really just jazz it up a little so we're gonna just cook with a little bit of that to get that um, I don't want to say minty more of that savory flavor because again there's a lot going on in there already so if we allow the spring onion not as strong as an onion flavor if you allow that to just sort of cook into that sauce a little bit you're gonna get that tart savory sort of kick from the spring onion without getting the you know full kick of like an onion onion that you would so yeah let's just see it might have been a terrible decision maybe it makes the dish taste terrible but if it does you know you know some teams that are just dead teams you know Slim on the rag. <laughs> right, right, proper. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I don't even like fish. Hmm? This looks like I'm, I'm hungry. I don't even like fish. <laughs> but we doing this. It's happening, folks. It's happening. I can't remember if I already oiled it. Take a little breather, you know? Sit back for a second. We still got more shit to get over We got the vegetables every coming up. With turkey pecones on them. Sabbath plays. I'm gonna yeah, get to hear, li finally listen to the records that I never actually got around to listening to, like the weird years. <laughs> I don't know much about it. The weird years, I think, is the Tony Martin Yeah, yeah. I don't know. See, it's just like kind of hazy for me. I don't know much about it. Like Ozzy, do you all about it? <laughs> Even Ian Gillen, that one album they did was so fucking good. Is that the one with the, like, demon baby? Yeah, the demon seal baby thing. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah, man, I really like, uh, Keep It Warm. Keep It Warm is that great. That one's really good. But Disturbing the Priest is so good. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like one of the most metal songs. 
<laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I think I think everything after that is Tony Martin. Okay. That's the lead singer. Okay. I think he's the only one. I, I think that's Tony the, Martin. Yeah. That's like the Eternal Idol stuff. The Eternal Idol and Headless Cross. Headless Cross. And there's like a couple other albums. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pavel, uh, tell me again, uh, what other dishes do you have planned? Right, so, this right here, we've got the tandoori chicken, then we've got a Sichuan chili salted fish, we've got a Cajun Creole style um, fish, we've got a curry powder fish, we've got curry and parmesan garlic prawns that are going to be wrapped in turkey bacon. We've got some garlic fennel vegetables, and that's pretty much going to be the menu. Everything was sort of, there was a theme at one point, and then it all just sort of started to get morphed into the theme as whatever I wanted to. So that's the, that's the theme that we're running with right now. The menu. Oh, it's time for the vegetables. Fresh vegetables, slab of butter, just to you know make sure that the pan, everything in there sort of sticks. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grill these as well because what I've seen from previous experiences now with the fish is that everything's really sticking to the pan. I don't want these to stick to the pan, so as much as I want vegetables, I want them to be healthy. I also don't want them to fucking burn and sear because if you burn and sear the shit out of your vegetables, then you lose all the nutrients from them anyway. So you might as well. Let's put a little oil in there. That way, we'll have them cook, uh, get cooked at a lower temperature and quicker and we won't need to worry about them sticking to the bottom of the pan because there's a lot going on. I'm, just gonna be, I'm not going to be spare, sparing with that. And at the end of the day also, all this shit is fucking fine, even just like this. This is, this is delicious as it is. Like, it's all fresh veggies that were cut this morning by Max. He helped us out. <laughs> Max the butcher. Um, yeah, the vegetable butcher. That's what we call him. Max the vegetable butcher. So yeah, we got our veggies kicking, and now we're just waiting on bacon wrapped, turkey bacon wrapped shrimp, and then we'll all sit down and eat yay. Happy, Max. Happy. Ooh, hello. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but that's a text message on my phone because Aside from being a chef, I'm actually really popular as well. So I get a lot of text messages throughout the day. You know, it's just things. My mom, grandma, people, <laughs> you know, family, bill collectors. All that shit you don't want to do. This is where my fennel's at. Finally, I got the fennel in. But that's where I kind of messed up because I wanted to um, add more fennel at the end for that fresh fennel taste. As much as like I wanted to cook the fennel as well because I love the fennel flavor. It's actually an Indian thing. If you ever gone to an Indian restaurant. 
I can probably notice when you're done eating. When you're paying, there's like fennel at the counter there. And like fennel is actually, yeah. it's like an Indian chewing gum almost. Um, it's seen as a natural di digestive catalyst. So that's why a lot of uh, Indian people will just eat fennel seed, cooked fennel seed. You just like kind of um, pan fry it for a moment and um, then yeah, it becomes sort of a after dinner mint, if you would. And so what I wanted to do was put some uh, cooked fennel in this and then just kind of put a little bit of raw fennel on the outside of it. But you know, again, it's all about call calling the audible. All right, let's let those chill like vanilla ice.